Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel again. Today I'm going to be working on a, a rack for my uh, traditional recurve bows, my vintage recurve bows. It's something I've been meaning to do for a long time and uh, I finally decided to get it done. So I'm going to show you what I've been working on. It's just going to be a real basic rack, but I think you're going to like it. It's made out of barn wood. So old, vintage, old rustic barn wood. So I think you're going to like it. Check it out. All right, so I'm going to show you where I'm at right now. I've already started, but um, I went down to Hobby Lobby and I found this uh, vintage uh, barn wood. Okay, it's old. It's pre-cut into 28-inch planks. I think they're one and a half inches wide by maybe five eighths, something like that. And I also bought these little dowels. These are um, shaker pegs, actually, and I'm going to uh, place them on the rack so I can rest my bows because uh, you don't want to have your recurve bows or your, your traditional bows sitting upright in a in a closet or something. You want to have them up and supported so they don't warp or, or get damaged. So that's the plan. What I did was, uh, I, I, you know, I got these and the pegs and... Um, I got some liquid nails construction adhesive just a little bit I just barely used any and I had some one inch screws use those and this is this is basically the the frame right here the, the rack it's uh, 26 inches tall and 18 inches wide which will be just about perfect for my recurve bows to set I'm going to put the pegs I'm going to put four pegs on either side to rest the bows horizontally. Um, one of the problems that I had was that the the um, the pegs were too light. They didn't match the nice barn wood color, you know. So I looked online on YouTube and I found a way to color the wood using a concoction of distilled vinegar and steel wool. Right, so all you got to do is get you a mason jar or some kind of jar and put a pad of uh, steel wool in there along with some vinegar and let it start to react. It took a while, you know, it took a couple of days for it to get going, but you can see as I was testing it, it was coloring the dowel on this uh, this brush, and I was using that to get the bubbles out because there's bubbles that form as the reaction takes place. You can see that. So that's what I've been doing there. And it's just, it's colored it. And yesterday I tried this. I gave it three coats, three dunks actually. And it came out pretty close. I might give it another dunk and get it a little darker. We'll see. But uh, <clears throat> it's pretty cool. Hold on. Let's get back to you in just a second. So <clears throat> what I've been doing to to not get my hands too dirty is to use these and dip it in the solution. You know, give it a good dip, let it let it dry, then give it another dip. But uh, in order to get the grain good, so it'll come out nice and grainy. What what they what they recommended on on the internet was to rough it up, and try to get the grain out using um, a wire brush. Well, I tried that, and that's what I used on the first one. But I decided to you go ahead and use this um, uh, rotary brass uh, drill fitting thing <laughs> on my drill. I put it in my vise, and I used it to, to really scuff things up. And I think this is going to come out nice, real nice. So that's the plan. I'm going to let them dry there after I dunk them. And uh, let's see what else can I tell you. Oh, that's about it. It's pretty straightforward, real cheap. Well, this stuff was cheap, man. It was on sale, of course. And these are cheap. And, uh, oh, this was, I think it was under 15 bucks, or under 10. And the liquid nails, you know, that was only two bucks. And I had some one inch screws laying around, so that helped out. But anyway, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm gonna start doing some more work on it. So I ended up dipping the pegs 
and five times to get this color. Let me show you a little better. It's a little dark today, we've got some rain coming in. But um came out pretty good, pretty close. Just had to drill some holes. Now get the pegs in, one half inch holes. Already put in the uh, the hangers to hang it on the wall. These are 10 pounders, so two 10 pounders, 20 pounds should work just fine. So um, that about wraps it up for the construction of this thing. I like it. I like the way it came out. It's going to be nice. I'll see if I can get it hung and get my bows in it and show it to you. Talk to you soon. All right, it's finished. Got the bows hanging, well supported, with a classic look of barn wood rack for my recurve bows. Everything looks good. I'm very happy with it. It came out great. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Very happy. Hope you guys like it. And I hope what I've given you on this video will help you build one for yourself. If you want to build something this easy, it was easy. So, best of luck. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.